My beloved children, I want you to understand some things about your enemy, Satan and his followers, the demons and the fallen angels. First, I would say to you, do not underestimate them. They are very powerful and without me, they are much more powerful than you. But thanks be to Father God, who gives you the victory through the Son, I, the Lord Jesus Christ, by my shed blood. Satan hates every one of you with a boiling, seething, raging hatred that grows deeper and darker every day. He seeks to kill, destroy, devour, and completely annihilate each and every one who is of the race of Adam because they are made in my image. This is why I have said, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. For many are called, but few chosen. He who is greatest among you shall be your servant, and whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. I resist the proud, and I give grace to the humble. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Your enemy comes at you in many different ways. Your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He uses fear to paralyze his prey. I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. I give you the power to resist the devil when you are submitted to me and you can command him to live in my name. If you are not submitted to me, he will attack you like the seven sons of Sceva and you away will run naked and wounded. My name is not to be used as a magic word. The name of Jesus Christ or Yahushua HaMashiach is above all other names given and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that I am Lord to the glory of God the Father. But the one speaking my name must be under my authority or it is of no use to him. This is why Paul wrote, No one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus a cast, and no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Most times, though, your enemies do not come at you as a lion that is easily seen and dealt with. He also comes to you as a slithering snake in the grass, or a fly on the wall that you cannot see. Sometimes he is your loving best friend with a smile on his face, but with a knife in his hand, waiting to stab you as soon as your back is turned. Sometimes he comes as the greatest longing in your heart, and seemingly the answer to your deepest prayers and physical needs. You must ask me for discernment in all things, especially for the time you are in now, my children. I have sent you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. He has taken down the greatest among men, and his aim is to take you down with him as well. That is why you must know me better than you ever have before. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. This is the only way that you will not be deceived by Satan and his minions. You must know me by the Spirit. There is no other way. And how do you know that you know me by the Spirit? You love, for love is of God. And everyone who truly loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love.
I speak to all that have knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, but love edifies. And if anyone thinks that he knows anything, he knows nothing yet as he ought to know. But if anyone loves God, this one is known by him. Or no one anything except to love one another. For he who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not covet, and if there is any other commandment, are all summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no harm to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. Sometimes, Satan transforms himself into an angel of light. He has deceived many in this way. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming, and is now already in the world. This is the time in which the lawless one, the Antichrist, will be revealed. And only those who have my Holy Spirit will know who he is. All others will laugh, scoff, mock, and ridicule. They say it cannot be him, for he is not this or that or the other thing. But I tell you the truth, he is not yet, but he will be and every scripture shall be fulfilled. The man of perdition will soon take center stage, just as I've told you, after the event. He readies himself even now. Your enemy, who will totally and completely possess him, is more cunning, crafty, and deceptive than any other created being. And he has had millions of years to practice. He will be joined by all of those that will be cast out of the heavens. Then the prince of the power of the air will inhabit the air no more, and shall be cast down to the earth, and way to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. I have told you many times who this man is, through many of my prophets, prophetesses, and watchmen, I have given dreams, visions, and messages and words, but so many still refuse to believe. My children, some of you know, and some of you do not, so I ask you to ask me to confirm it to you, so that you are not deceived by him. I tell you, that he will return to power before my return. And this is where so many are in error. Fear not, for the victory has already been won. You can do all things through me that strengthens you. Draw near to me now, children, and I will protect you. No power in heaven or earth can stain you from my hand. Do not be deceived, though. And leave my hand, or you will find that the door has closed. Once again, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. The reason I tell you this is because the serpents are who you are dealing with, and the time is upon you. They are defeated in my name, Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach.